Why, hello everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Sweet Coden. This is ALG, and right now we just defeated a uh, Neck Lord. Lovely. So sweet, we get the Alliance of the Warriors Village, which doesn't really add much to our army, I guess, but it's something. Oh god, Victor, here we go. Oh, jeez. If Victor can't leave, it could be a problem, man. Yeah. But if it'll, if it'll clear Victor's consciousness, then I guess, you know. Might as well do it. <laughs> that was nice how Tengar did that. Like, yeah, I'm joining, and Hicks, you're coming too, because you need to protect me. <laughs> and that is how Tengar and Hicks originally became part of the Suicoden family. Even though they are stars of destiny to begin with, so their fate was pretty much inescapable. In that aspect. Their fate to control fate. Yeah. Deep stuff. <sighs> yes, yes, we already do know. Weird enough, Zorak is not a star of destiny. Which is, I think is pretty dumb to be honest. But there's a lot of, like, weird characters that don't do anything, you know. But I'll see you back at the castle, guys. Alright! Let's just talk to Matthew. I want to know what's up next. <clears throat> yeah, it's cool. So what are we going to do? Kasim! Yes. Kasim is the man. He reminds me of... Uh... Omar Sharif from Dr. Zavago, except he was also in Hidalgo. You know the movie Hidalgo with Vigo Mortensen about like that racehorse? And uh, he's in, in that movie, Hidalgo, Omar Sharif is dressed up exactly like Kasim Hazil. It's, uh, it's hilarious. I wish I could do the voice that he did in that movie too for Kasim. That would be amazing, but I'm not very really good at Arabic accents. But anyway, I got so off topic. Um, uh, we, we're talking about Dragon Knights now, so yes, we are gonna try to strike, strike up an alliance with uh, Joshua's domain, which is pretty much the Dragon Knight people place thing. I'd rather not go. <laughs> yeah, like we really have a choice, and we need all the people we can get. My god, Dr. J. Valgo, that movie is so long, I always fall asleep during it. It has like at least five intermissions in it, it's bullshit. But anyway, I will see you downstairs someplace. Alright, hello. Uh, figured I'd fill you in with some of this uh, stuff here. Uh, you really want to buy a couple of runes. See. This is why I got the Prosperity Crystal, because you can just buy the Fortune Crystal right now, and it's really cheap. Uh, you can't get the Prosperity Crystal, though, so... That's why it's always better to get the Prosperity Crystal first, and then worry about the Fortune Rune later, and now it's actually a good time to buy that if you want your characters to level up. Like, a lot. Anyway, put the Holy Crystal on Humphrey, because Humphrey's virtually useless. I mean, he's like level 20. He's probably going to die off, like, instantly. So there's really nothing you can do about it. I mean, you really shouldn't blow a whole bunch of money on him anyway, since he's so weak. And you're probably not ever going to use him again, so why bother? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Anyway, I'm done with, uh, tinkering around with everyone's stuff here. Yeah, Humphrey's still level 23. That is not good. <sighs> 
I just hate it when they make you use characters that are weak as hell because you totally neglected them. It's like, oh, now you gotta use them, and it's like, shit. Ante. Formerly known as Beer Blanche. Yeah. I'm saving. Okay, so we gotta go north west from here. <clears throat> yep. Gotta go all the way up here. It's my heater going back there. And meh. I don't feel like fighting. Crap, I went over too far. Stupid world map. Stupid random battles. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh! oh my god, the creepers in Sweet Code in 3 are like uber small. Or they're just smaller than they were ever portrayed in the first two games. Okay, I love this music so much. I do. I just love this fanfare that they do. Dun 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 Alright, so we're gonna try to meet up with Joshua here. And this gatekeeper's being an asshole. As usual, as all gatekeepers seem to be. <coughs> be on your way! Oh, the nearest town is Ante, where we just freaking came from. Brilliant, Flicker. Flicker? Jesus. Fuck. I hate saying that. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Fuck. I hate, I hate that when it happens. Anyway. Um. Yeah. Foofy music. Foofy, poofy French music again. And here's Vincent. Somebody who you should barely recognize from my Sweet Code in 2 LP. I mean, you've literally only seen him for like five seconds in that game. But here in this game, he serves a little bit more importance than in the second game. And uh, he doesn't have his friend Simone in this game. His Simone's was ugly as hell, but what does it have to do with anything? But anyway, this aristocrat here. Can't even afford a breakfast. Oh, oh, that ain't even right, dude. You just gave your money away to some poor starving children. That was a terrible excuse. <laughs> Why can't you pay your bill? Oh, well, I just donated all of my money to some of uh, the Salvation Army, and, you know, I figured since I did such a good deed, maybe I should get my meals for free for the rest of my life, you know? Because I'm just that awesome. Lord Vincent? What do you lord over? Your empty pockets? Ugh. What you talking? You can't get no phone numbers. Oh. Ugh. Oh, how, how in the hell do you have any relation to that? Wait a minute. We need to go there and get a meeting ourselves. Stupid ass. Oh, great. Now we gotta pay for his meal. It always made me wonder, what if he didn't have 200 bits? What if he had, like, 150 bits? Would you automatically lose the game or something if you couldn't pay for their, uh, Vincent's meal? Anyway, we are back here. I figured I'd edit the trip back out. <laughs> oh, really now? <laughs> I've been in this post for five damn years. Oh, Vincent, Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, do us all a favor and just punch him in the face. You're a freaking terrible liar, Vincent. Can you even realize that? What the fuck? I'm not your friend, dude. 
Oh my god. We must see Joshua! Wow. I'm, I'm really surprised that uh, he even has any dialogue in this game to begin with. Like, he was totally silent, so we got into poor Humphrey. Anyways, I will be seeing you later. This is ALG. Later.